Welcome back to Unicorn Desk Designs, y'all. My name is Sammy. On this channel, we do wood signs, DIYs, and there's tons of laughter. Everything is always on a budget. And today is round three of the uh, Creative Champion Contest. Um, so I can't wait to show you my DIYs for the hot video, and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek at what I made for the contest video but you'll have to go hit that link to see how they are made. So with that said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into these boho DIYs. All right, y'all, we're gonna start off with this mirror. Did you like how I tried to do the snap and that just did not happen? So this is a Dollar Tree mirror. We're gonna take the small Dollar Tree wreath form, voila, and skewer sticks. I found a huge pack of these at Target for $1.99, so way better deal than Dollar Tree, and our doggy nail clippers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and you're gonna measure out how long you want them to stick out. So I already pre-measured them. I'm just going to do two different sizes. You can do as many sizes as you'd like. I'm gonna cut them down with my dog nail clippers and we're gonna cut quite a few out. I, I, I couldn't tell you how much I use, sorry. All right, then we're getting our hot glue and this cardboard was already behind the mirror for us, so that was amazing. I'm just putting the hot glue on the bottom part of our skewer and attaching it. And I'm gonna just go all the way around with these, alternating big, small, big, small. Um, super easy projects today, you guys. Um, I think these are great projects for people that are like, beginner boho i mean they definitely were beginner for me i'm just getting into it so got me some slack all right so now we're taking our wreath form and we're going to take the hula skirt i spray painted my wreath form like a cream color and um the hula skirt is absolutely amazing this is the adult size one because it has longer strands than your usual raffia so I'm taking two of the strands from the skirt and we're just gonna go ahead and loop that through, okay? I'm gonna go slow right here. Now I'm gonna take it sometime. I'm gonna go over the middle and then we are going to bring it maybe, <laughs> I guess I went a lot slower than I thought, okay. Now we're gonna bring it behind the bottom. Now we're gonna take it up tuck it in, bring it behind the middle, up over your top, and you're gonna repeat this. So again, we are going behind now, we're alternating, behind the top, over the middle, and then back behind the bottom. And then we're just going to repeat this over and over again. And this really only took me, I wanna say like 20 to 30 minutes. So it wasn't like crazy time consuming. And you can see how like one of these strands covers a good amount. So pick these up while you see them. Thank you, I reminded myself, I need to get more of these. Um, so they do make children's and uh, adult sizes. So the adult one is the one with the longer strands. Okay, so I wanted to show you right here. Once you come to the end of your um, hula skirt, grass stuff. You're going to just tack it down with some hot glue in the back. This is so easy y'all and it looks so good. The detail, amazingness. Okay. So once we tack it down, you're going to start your next se section the same exact way. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. Voila. I just said, all right, you guys, I had to put this clip because look at those eyelashes. They're banging. Hey, what's up? Okay. So Again, you're just gonna start your new section the same way you did the first time. So you're just getting that, looping it through. There it is finished. You just repeat the process over and over. Okay, so now I'm taking one piece of nautical rope. So the nautical rope comes in three strands. I took one of those strands off and I'm hot gluing it to the middle where it kind of sinks down. And this way I have something to attach the mirror and the frame together. Now I've seen a lot of people do like the skewer sticks behind the mirror, 
which you can totally do. I just thought this would be an easier way. Can you tell how lopsided I got it? Watch when I flip it. What? It still worked. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Then uh, you guys know I have, I like guacamole and I like to be extra. So I decided to add some wood beads. These are the 15 millimeter. I am putting my star bond medium super glue on this holds it. You just give it like a couple seconds and it firms up right away and that is it you guys I was really proud of this it's definitely something different this is all of these projects are actually going to go in my reading nook but I really love the detail I'm stepping out of my comfort zone so be easy on me okay with these DIYs let me know if all you're right, vibing guys, the, that was the first DIY please let me know what you think about it down below in the comments I am trying something a little new for my channel, which is boho decor. For those of you that have not been following me, my home is basically farmhouse, but our master bedroom and bathroom, we're actually doing boho. So that's why I'm starting to step out of my comfort zone, bring you some different DIYs. So hopefully you guys are digging it. And y'all know with that being said, if you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you're digging my channel, please make sure to like, please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, make sure it's set to all so you get notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget to vote today. I am gonna leave the links for the hop, um, so the next person in the hops link and the link to vote and to go watch the contest video on Heidi Sambles page. I'm super excited, this is round three y'all. So. After this voting, there's two of us left. So please make sure to get those voting fingers ready and vote, vote, vote for your favorite project. And with that, you guys, let's go ahead and get back into the DIYs. All right, so for this one, we're starting, this is a ring from one of the smaller wreath forms, but I cut the middle out. I spray painted it cream. And we are going to, this is eight inches in diameter. So I went on my measuring mat to the four inch mark halfway. I'm gonna go ahead and clip that with my wire clippers. My husband says they're not called wire clippers. They're called some kind of plier. I don't know. All right, so we are going to, I don't know yet. Let me see what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're gonna take our, our hula skirt again but I'm gonna take four strands. So right here, I start off with two and I'm like, okay, that looks a little too skimpy. So I end up grabbing four of the strands and that's what we're gonna use all the way across. So four, you're gonna loop it through just like we did the first one, except this time, that's all you have to do. Then I'm gonna put a wood bead here and I'm like, okay, this is, this is so I know kind of where I want my grass to start but it keeps moving, so lesson learned. So you'll see I end up hot gluing the back of it so our bead stays in place, so I suggest you do that. Here we go, I get, a, I get smart. So now our grass can't move all over the place. And you guys, we are just going to keep looping this through. Now, initially, I thought that I wanted half of it to be beads and then the bottom half to be the grass skirt and then cut it super short. But as I started piecing it together, it almost started looking like, I don't know, a kind of wreath slash dream catcher and I was totally digging it. So I go ahead, I weed it all through. Once I get it to where or across how I want it, you guys. All right, there you go. There, that's, I, that's how much I put on. <laughs> then I started feeding my wood beads through the, I remember we clipped this wreath form thing and I am keeping these natural. I just need to slow down you guys. I'm like mixing my words up. All right, so keep feeding those through. And then as we come towards the end, I was trying to figure out like, how do I hold this open but also glue it at the same time? But I'm gonna grab my Starbond glue. I'm going to kind of drip it down into the hole of the wood bead here, easy peasy, and then just stick the wreath form back in there. And we are done with this. And initially I thought I was gonna leave it long, but I do end up cutting it off of camera because it was just a little too long for my preference. But this is something so easy. You can really make it your own by, like I said, you can just totally chop it off and have it short. 
I decided to cut mine just a little bit and I really do love its simplicity. All right, you guys, if you want to see how I made this amazingly beautiful piece of art, then head over to Heidi Stombal DIY, check out the contest video because that is where I show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can make this beautiful piece as well as this decorative boho item. You will also be able to see all of the other gals in the contest and what they submitted. And then I want you guys to take the time to vote for your favorite project. This is the end of the line. Two more people go on next week. All right, you guys, this is so easy. So I'm taking this sign from Dollar Tree, taking Nantucket blue. We're gonna paint the sides, we're gonna paint the top. You don't have to worry about the inside. I do two coats, go ahead and let that dry. Now I'm gonna take three size beads, small, medium, large. I am taking floral wire. Now, I want to note, you guys, I you guys should use, you know the thicker floral wire that they have at Dollar Tree that comes like in the circle and they're different colors? Grab that instead of this. So here I just drilled a hole I'm going to bend my wire so it can't come out. I'm gonna feed my smaller beads through here and I'm just gonna keep feeding them on until I get the size or the quantity that I want. I was trying to figure out how big I wanted this to go. So once I figure that out, I'm gonna play around with the placement and then we'll drill a second hole. I don't know what I'm doing here with that ruler. Hot Mess Express, that's what's up. All right, feed that wire back through. And then again, I'm just twisting it just so it doesn't come out. Then I'm gonna do the second, um, the second size bead. So I drilled a hole, fed that through, then I'm taking my 15 millimeter beads and I am putting those on the wire until I get the length that I need. We will drill a second hole and then put feed that through the hole. Now mine are really flimsy right now because my wire is so thin, but if you do get the thicker wire, you're not gonna have this issue whatsoever because obviously it'll be a lot more supported than this. Um, lastly, we take our biggest set of beads, the 20 millimeter. Again, I wanted to keep everything raw, but you can definitely paint this. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill our last hole feed it through and now to get mine supported if, if this is like the only wire that you have I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot glue I'm going to tack it on the back and bottom of the beads and this is gonna help support it so that they don't like fall forward on me and I really like like I said these are so easy they're so simple very simplistic and for me, that's the entire vibe that I'm going for in my reading nook. I just want it happy and vibrant and the blue goes with my carpet and I love it. So let me know what you guys are thinking about these DIYs. I really want to know, like, are they not enough? Are you liking it? Don't worry, farmhouse ain't going anywhere. All right, you guys, I wanted to remind you that on June 1st at 11 a.m. Central, we are doing our next summer Dollar Tree mystery box hop. There is a mystery box giveaway, so make sure to put it on your calendar. All right, you guys, this, I love this one. Okay, so we're taking a Dollar Tree frame. We took it apart, obviously, and I took the flowers off of it, but it had hot glue, so we're gonna take that off we're gonna clean it up because we do have to use this side of the sign. There is no, um, this sign was weird. I'll explain later. All right, so I'm taking that hot glue off. Next, I'm going to take our image. This is from Canva. I will try linking this down in my description box for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just mark our paper or cut the paper to fit. All right, so now I'm gonna take chiffon by Rust-Oleum. I was going more with like the cream colors instead of the vibrant whites. I'm gonna give this thing three coats. All right, so you guys, the letters are kind of almost engraved in, so you still kind of see them even with the three coats, but we do kind of, we end up covering it up. But the thing with this sign was the back has the little clip on it, so if you rip it off, you can't use it. And then the front, if you rip off the paper, you can't paint over it. So anyways, I'm over here using my carbon paper, which does carbon paper go bad or something? Because I've used it before and it worked 
amazingly and for this one didn't work at all so I understand this image I probably could have done freehand but what I really wanted out of it were the um, spacings of the dots on the top so it laid it out for me pretty good and yes I am taking my finger and we're painting you guys might think this is childish I don't know I love the way that it came out it makes it look like an artist did it versus getting something generic and printed that a hundred people have you know what I'm saying so I take Nantucket blue then I'm gonna take hazelnut and I'm just going to follow my um, hashtag drawing I guess it is <laughs> that I put on our sign then I'm gonna take truffle by Waverly and we are going to do the top arch of our um, rainbow in this color next we take some split beads these are the 15 millimeter I'm gonna go ahead and paint them Nantucket blue after those dry we are just going to attach these around our rainbow and I really think this is what kind of like brings it up to more of like adult vibes versus kiddish with this nice pop of detail after you're done with this you're just going to pop it back in that like natural wood frame and you have yourself a beautiful piece of art that i absolutely love like this is one of my favorites it makes me so happy looking at it i could see it sitting on a stack of my books and i love its happy happy vibe so i hope you guys enjoy it too i hope you guys go and check out my other two diys and just as a reminder i do have two other channels shop with sammy which are hauls and i take you on different shop with me and then we also have crafting a healthy life with the Veltries, which are kind of our home updates. I do a lot of lives and it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get to know me and my family. So please visit those down in the description box. Don't forget to show your support and vote for your favorite project and go down in the description box and see who is next in the hop. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye. I don't want to cut my head off up here. That wasn't a cat call to you, honey. Oh, it wasn't a cat call. You're gonna get mommy's black shirt all dirty, aren't you? I know you smell my lipstick. You just ate. Do you know how smelly your mouth is? Do you? You tell. You look at the camera. Tell everybody. Oh, do you see? Oh. What are you doing? Can you get down? You already interrupted my yoga session. Now you just want to be a camera hog. Now say hi. Excuse him. He has no manners. I just, all right, get down. Try not to touch you because I don't want your hair all over me. Go down, get down, go lay under the table. Don't start wagging your tail. I'm not. Can you get down? This is ears from eating food. That's what smells. All right, get down, get down. Cool, you're well behaved. You listen very well. Get down, get down. No, I. it's not lovey time, okay? Get your booty down, go. There's nothing on my table for you to eat, dude. bored yet go no no you can't have it <sighs> all right all right that was a little okay now let's do the intro <sighs> I feel like I look so weird with this because you can't see my hair in the back so I don't know it's different. It's different for me.